Today for my spring project, I'm doing the cutest and the easiest spring project and it's so inexpensive, you're gonna love it. Um, I worked these up for the Michaels Home Talk Pinterest party that took place a few weeks ago. I made um, Everything Here is from Michaels and Everything Here is super inexpensive. This is great if you want a quick and easy and pretty cheap little spring project. Uh, these bird cages um, come they have beautiful big bird cages at Michael's that you could do all sorts of arrangements with, but these um, come from the bins of the really bargain craft supplies. They are great. They always have, they change them out seasonally and they always have some good stuff, but this spring especially, there are some really great things. These are $3 a piece, these bird cages. So I thought I would start there. I added a little pedestal to this one and put a sweet little bird and a nest in here and um, this is a really cute and inexpensive project this one um, I bought another cage a bird cage from the bins and then put it in terracotta with some moss and I'm keeping my little air plants in this one um, for spring it sits by my kitchen sink I love it so let's get started I think you're gonna like these these would be great to do as a you know girls night in or craft with your kids or whatever it's All right, I'm going to start with a terracotta pot for this this one and added some styrofoam. You can give the terracotta pot um, a little bit of an aged patina if you want to with paint or stone spray. I have uh, several tutorials that are quick and easy on my blog, All Things Hard and Home, that talk about giving an aged patina here to this. And um, then I'm going to, after I get the styrofoam in there, I'm going to cut a little piece of sheet moss, which I also got at Michael's, and this is great sheet moss because it has adhesive on the back. So we are going to just cut a bit. We have our moss on our styrofoam, and we're going to add our bird house, our bird cage. The bird cage has little feet, which kind of make indentions in the styrofoam, but just to keep it in place, I'm using these floral pens all around. I'm going to add just some Spanish moss on the inside. And you really could, if you, I don't know if you guys like air plants, but um, you could add an air plant. You could add a fake succulent in here. It would be really cute. Um, or a real, uh, they have tiny plants at my nursery where I go. They're called itty bitty plants. And um, they, they go in terrariums. And it would be really cute to just put, a, put one in there. Leave it by a window. Keep it watered. It would be happy for a while. I'm going to also do this one a little different than I did um, my first one, which I just added some moss to the sides. I'm going to add. I'm going to add a different kind of moss. This bright spring green, pretty little moss. I'm just going to put it around the edges, give it a little more interest. Also, I added a burlap. Um, from a burlap ribbon, I added, put Mod Podge on it and added it to the pot in my first one. And I'm not going to do that with this one. Just leave a little more terracotta showing. You could, you really can get creative and do your own thing with these. And if you happen to make any of these, I would love for you to shoot me an email. Send me a picture. I'll put it on the blog post. My email address is on my blog, All Things Hard and Home. So I will glue this in. I like the way that looks. I'll just glue a little of it around. Glued on, and uh, everything's glued on. And now I'm going to add my little bird. I got this little guy in the floral design department too at Michaels when I was there. And I think I'm just going to put a bird in here. I may put, you know, some Easter eggs as it gets closer to Easter, or I may go buy myself a little plant somewhere. Now. I've got two of those little guys. That was quick. That was easy. Now we have one more project to do with the birdcage. Okay, now we started with another cage for the second project with the bird cages, And this little ceramic, um, I think it's a cupcake stand. I've got some Martha Stewart wedding cake white, which I've just got down here in my craft stuff because um, I've been using it a lot lately this particular color but you could use any color I think I'm just going to do them both white um, when I did I'm sorry to reach when I did this one 
I used a really pretty blue and then I went back over it with a pearl white on that one. But with this one I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna use some white and paint over this. I have the paint watered down because I always like a more transparent, softer look on almost everything I do <laughs> in my house. But you might like a more saturated color scheme and you could do that. You could do bright and Easter egg kind of color scheme if you wanted to. I'm just gonna paint this. All right, there are several ways you could do this. You decide for yourself what you want to do, but to glue this bird cage onto my base, it's a ceramic base, remember. The first bird cage I did, I cut a piece of cardstock. Can you see it right here? And I actually glued the cardstock with hot glue onto the base. And then I glued on top of the cardstock, I put some more hot glue and glued down my bird cage. On the inside, I, I did the same thing. I got my um, another piece of cardstock in a circle and kind of put some glue on it and added some moss at the bottom on top of that cardstock and then I glued that cardstock that had uh, a little moss base I glued that to the bottom of the birdcage and that worked out fine um, with this next one that I'm doing I decided to try it a little simpler forget the cardstock I glued directly on with hot glue directly onto my base and just put my bird cage right on top of it. It glued great. It, it did great. I'm going to make this one look a little different, so you know, I just did it differently. All right, with this one, it, like I told you, I just told you, go ahead and, and have a moss base for this, however you want to do it. And then in the floral department, there is this straw, and it kind of comes out in big uh, piles like this. All you need to do is take off some of that straw, however much you need, and you'll you'll have something that looks like this and kind of start to shape it into a bird nest. I wouldn't do this if I were leaving this nest outside of this little cage and maybe on my table because I'm pretty certain my granddaughters would make this fall apart. But for this little inside the bird um, cage, it's just right. It's perfect. All right, so I'm just making this my little bird cage, I mean my little bird nest. I'm just tucking in with my little bird. And there it is. There's this version of that little spring decoration. You can see the little bird in there. My pictures will be better, I'll show you. But this one I'm gonna do a little different. I'm not gonna use um, a bird nest in there. I'm going to use some moss and this little green, it's a really soft green Spanish moss. I'm just going to tuck it inside the bird cage. And then I'm taking this little, um, I'm into purple this year, this spring. I'm taking this little. Visit me at allthingshardandhome.com. I am there every day. Until next time, sending love from me to you. Bye-bye, guys.